Hey everyone, this is Ray with Curated Computing. I just wanted to make a quick video today to show you what happens if you screw up a BIOS flash on a 5700 XT or a 5600 XT. Uh, I made the mistake of using the wrong version of AMD VB flash. I used 3.04 when I should have used 2.93. 3.04 works fine. Um, I've got the XFX 5700 XTs, uh, the thick editions, and then the regular ones. It works fine on there, but I thought I was okay to use it on the Gigabyte 5700 XT and the MSI 5600 XT, um, but those actually only have one memory type, I guess, um, and you can pull that up uh, when you're in red, I think it's, yeah, red BIOS editor. In, on the drop down you only see one memory type uh, so I learned the hard way I screwed around with it for a while I figured out what you have to do so this is for the Gigabyte 5700 XT's and then the MSI 5600 XT's it might apply to other ones as well so what will happen if you fail the BIOS flash it will say everything was good in the command line but you'll go to post your computer and you will get a black screen it probably won't even post you'll just see like a line on the computer so what you need to do is pull the back plate off your gpu four screws uh just right there nothing crazy and then you have to find your bios chip so i'm going to zoom in on the bios chip just bear with me so that eight legged chip that's your bios chip right there that's what you want to go for. Now what I do is I take a tweezers. Um, you could use something else too if you had a tweezers. But you want to short out pins 1 and 8 on the BIOS chip just with the tweezers. So that's going to be the one with the arrow on it. And then the one at the opposing end right there. So you just kind of go diagonal. Short out those two pins. So... What you'll do is you'll shut your PC off completely, short these two pins out, hit the power button. After it posts and you'll see that everything posted, you can let go of the tweezers on there, okay? And what you'll need to do is head over to igorslab.com or .de, download uh, AMD VB Flash 2.93. And then we're going to go in our command line, going to right click, run as admin, okay. We're going to go cd c colon slash a m d v b flash, okay. Try to set this here so I can do it a little quicker. It's not working. All right, we're gonna go A M D V B flash negative I. Click OK. All right, that's gonna show our adapter. It is showing up now, uh, so everything's good. Now we're gonna flash our stock bio. So we're gonna go A M D V B flash negative P. That's for program. We're going to hit zero. That's selecting our adapter that we saw up there. And then we're going to go stock BIOS. And then whatever our serial number was, which I think is 8225. I'm going to double check here. Uh, yeah. So that's in our C drive where I have all of these dot .roms stored it's in the C drive and then AMD VB flash, so you'll need to make a folder. So we're gonna type in stock BIOS 8225.rom. 8225.rom. Now this should restore it for us. Click OK again. Okay, perfect. So now it's writing back our stock BIOS. Okay, and then restart system to complete, and then you should be all set on here. 
So now we're gonna restart our PC and we'll just make sure that it posts. All right, should automatically restart. We're just gonna see. Yep, we see our GPU now. It's coming up, it's posting. So I think we are all set. Well, hopefully this helps you guys out. I took the time while I had the back plate off. I redid these thermal pads on the memory, uh, two millimeter thick, and I'm gonna put some Arctic Silver thermal paste on. Should hopefully help out with thermals a little better. Thanks for watching if this video helped you. Uh, let us know in the comment section, hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more mining content, and we'll see you in the next one.